okay? Yes, I think so. Did you guys see that? Well, I felt it, you moron. We have to get out of here. We have to go check. What if they're survivors? I'm gonna put myself in the middle of an atomic explosion when death claws talk. Twig, can you look at me? There are no survivors. I promise. We have to go. Where do we go? To the mountains, north. Are you nuts? It's a two-day walk minimum. I'm sorry. Do any of you have supplies stashed closer? No. All right, then. All right, come on, let's go. What's wrong with him? Hey, if something's wrong with Ben, you're gonna tell me! Sitting ducks down there. Huh. Get a good signal up here. Maybe things are looking up. The hell was that? I've too much energy chasing after one wayward slave. I'm done. What the hell? This isn't you. They need your help. You have no clue who I am. You have a name. Ben Eldridge. That hasn't meant anything in over 200 years. It's over. I'm done. Go away. Go away. Well, 
honest, I didn't think you could actually track that. Well, you get what you pay for. I'll take my caps and be on my way. Ah, personal bubble, buddy. I... Caps what? on delivery. Ah, shit! So you know what this is? Yeah. Except your proximity boundary is tied to her. No shit. You have 20 feet. Anything happens to her, or she gets away again, well, let's just say, you won't have to play hound dog anymore. <laughs> Woof. What did you do to Eastwood? What? I... I don't know what you mean. I... Ah! What did you do to Eastwood? It wasn't us! It wasn't us! It was Leon! It was Leon! Penelope, patch him up. We're taking him with us. Sure thing, Raz. <coughs> this will help you sleep. No, I don't want to sleep. I want to help my... I want to help my... Friends, they need my... Working. And that's a whole lot of men on you. Right, on her, which means you can let me go. Oh, I'm not done with you yet. God, Ben even let you go. It's just business. Just business. Stop following me. What do you care about, Benjamin Eldridge? Please don't call me that. Answer the question. You get so goddamn chatty. It's how you fight it. You answer that question over and over all the time. What do you care about? Nothing! Good. Keep telling yourself that lie. That's how it beats you. Do you want to become feral? What the hell do you even know? You're a coward. Find me anyway. Raz was tracking you because of that shish kebab you stole. Then he ran across that little gunfight of yours. Was headed to Eastwood, and that place went up. Was bringing help from the locker. Then we caught your radio. Hmm. Here, you need to stay hydrated. This is the best I have. <gasps> Careful with your arm. Mm hmm. Oh, God, that's the best thing that happened in days. That didn't hurt? Not really, no. Fascinating. So, where are we going again? The locker.
Raz, Six Eyes. Sorry about Eastwood, fellas. Thanks, Ron. We could use the shelter if you could spare it. You got it. And if things are looking the way they look, we'll have to get this place up and running again. You guys know I don't believe in that sort of thing. Twig says Leon found his slave girl he's been after. Found her, damn. And he still believes in that damn prophecy. Prophecy? And who might you be? This is Twig. <laughs> Friend of the slaves. <clears throat> Stayed a few steps ahead of Leon till last night. Nice to meet you, kid. Ron, we need to talk about this factory. Touch wanted us to get it operational as soon as possible. He said there might be a problem up there. Scarlet and get her cleaned up. I want her looking her best. Of course. Can you please put me down? Can you behave? Well, if only you behave is synonymous with kicking your ass. Tell me about your friends, Ben. Where'd you meet them? I met Twig at some. Super duper mart stuff in his fat face and scars just in some cave somewhere. Why? It's not important. I disagree. Uh. What the hell are you doing up there? Mm. I'm not even gonna ask.
Jesus. The hell is this? Why do you have this? Why do you have this? I'm not gonna let you die on me until you answer my goddamn question. Okay, I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, shit. What? No, 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 no! Oh, you're awake. My pit boy, where is it? Oh, uh, here, sorry. Sorry. Things tend to disappear around here. <laughs> Wanted to hide it. Took a while to take off, actually. Mm -mm. There's a new Coca Cola in it for you. I know this guy. Lamenti. He used to trade with Eastwood. He's from the locker. The place has been marked. And we need to tell Ron. So what are all the needles for, anyway? Just running some tests. You a big new Coca-Cola lover? It's all we have in my vault. I guess you could say it's a part of me. <laughs> mm, yeah. shot how many days ago? I don't know. Two? Fascinating. Looks like it's been healing for over a week. We should go see Ron. So, how long have you been here? About two years. The caravan oh. that I was with got ambushed, and Ron found me out in the waste and brought me here. What's Ron's story? Ron doesn't like to talk about it. I gave up asking. Okay. So, uh, Twig, it's an interesting name for a guy. Where I come from, I'm a smaller guy. Where you come from, anybody special back at your vault? Not really, no. no? Oh. So this is Ron's place. Oh, cool. So, so he's in, oh, he's in here? Yeah, yeah. sorry. <laughs> Bye. Huh. Not every day we meet a vault dweller. Only heard stories. Good to see you're up and about. I'm Chris. This is Tim. We work with Ron to run this pile of concrete we call home. Well, it's nice to meet you. 3,000 series. Very nice. I had a 2,000 myself. Very sorry about Eastwood. And touch Connors. He was, a, he was a good man. Thanks. Did you know him well? well? It's a name like touch. You don't have much choice. We had our differences. Slavery was never one of them. It's a no-go at the locker. Ready for a tour? This is the locker. It's not much, but like Chris said, it's home. We're a peaceful people. Mostly elderly, those too weak to fight on their own. But we keep the raw materials here safe from raiders, slavers, anyone who wants to hurt others with it. But if you have the materials, why don't you use it like Raz said? We lack the technology to get the plant running. Fortunately, I don't believe in all that twig. Technology complicates a simple, satisfying life. Wait, what about the prophecy? Isn't Leon on his way? Leon believes his son will rule the West, and he thinks your friend is destined to be the mother. Gross. Even if we could get it running, there's no guarantee it would stop the invasion. Finally awake. How long? About nine and a half hours. <clears throat> Not that bad, really. I can't move. 
Yeah, I know. It's one of the effects of the scorpion venom. Oh. Use some of your stuff to make an antidote, but if you want the rest of it, you're gonna tell me why. You have this. You really don't remember, do you? You know, I lost my patience with that shit about 150 years ago. I heard your story my whole life. Benjamin Eldridge, Vault 7. You'd registered for the vault years before. It was supposed to be a haven for anyone and their families. But you married after registering. They said there wasn't enough room. Her for me, you said. Let her take my place. You got her into Vault 7. Then you went into the desert to face your death. But you didn't die. You survived. Just like you'll survive this. You can fight turning feral, Ben. Maybe not forever, but... For a little while. You were strong enough. You have to be. If you weren't, then I wouldn't be here. Yeah, that's fine. Go and get all the sleep you need, asshole. Years back, through months and months of tracking and questioning, which often leads in circles, a man had finally gotten a bearing on where his quarry might be. It led him to game of caravan in a den populated by less than desirable sorts. Some were thieves, some murderers, some slavers, some were junkies, some were all of these things. Everyone who entered that place knew they might not walk out again, including this man. He stayed for days in that debauched place until he was able to strike up a game with a group of harriers that matched the description he'd been given. The man won over and over again. Quickly, tempers began to rise. One accused the man of cheating. In response, he offered the return of all his winnings to them, if they would tell him what they knew of Ben Eldridge. Upon hearing that name, a brawl began. The man dodged and darted quickly, incapacitating each of the players and whomever else joined the fray. Most severely, a murderer known as the Scorpion for his preferred method of execution. Once the violence ceased, the man turned to one of the injured and dropped a jack from his sleeve onto the floor. He then dragged him out, making it very clear that he would have his answers. Freezing. Hey, your fever broke. Well done, you beat the venom. Well, consolation prize at least. Well, now that that's out of your system, I have a question for you. Where the hell did you get this? My father, when my mother died, family heirloom. And how the hell is that possible? James Eldridge. I'd say it's nice to meet you, but you're such an asshole. So, Clem remarried. No, never. She died in her bed clutching that ring, so I'm told. But your last name is Eldridge. Great, 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 great grandson, give or take. I had a kid. Benjamin Jr. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I thought you knew. Take that, get some rest. This place has been marked.
unmarked. Must have had a reason. Oh, come on! What's the matter? <laughs> My pit boy's busted. The Geiger counter's not working. Wait a second. Hey, wait, wait, what, you, what are you doing? Don't waste it! What are you, Oh. <laughs> All right, I guess it was just a false alarm. Okay, thank you. This is what he puts out. There's no residual radiation. He'll bring Scar here for the ritual. Goddamn prophecy. Fertile soil makes for the perfect mate. Perfect mate makes the perfect son. The fates of all are sealed when two become one by the burning sun of the twelfth month of the twelfth year, blah, blah, blah. Know all it takes for a prophecy? Some asshole to say something crazy a long time ago. Other assholes to believe. It doesn't matter. If Leon believes, he'll come here and he'll kill us all. Well, we leave. Destroy the locker. I can rig it to blow on an hour's notice. But that's such a waste. What are you going to do every time Leon comes into town? You're just going to move out? Why not use it? Create the ammunition. We only have so many rifles, Twig, not many of them at all. And I've seen the damage done by always wanting the bigger guy. I hate that phrase. It, it, it's not the size that matters, it's, it's how you use it. No doubt you believe that. We don't have the tech to make the locker work. There's gotta be something I can do. Maybe he should talk to the scholar. The who? Anything happens, it's on you. What about this? We're not stupid. May we have some privacy? There are six men outside. I would expect nothing less. You ready? Yeah. You're not what I expected, ma'am. Really? What were you expecting? Leon's been after you for so long. You have a reputation. I thought you would be more... Perfect? Hardened? Savage? What makes you think I'm not? <laughs> What's your name? Bonnie, ma'am? Don't call me that. You just call me Scar. How long have you been, um... Leon's slave? Yeah. Long enough to know that you're special to him. How'd you get here? When he lost you, he tore through all the towns he could find, taking the sons of families to build his army. My parents had no son, so he took me. I just want to go home. But I don't even know where that is. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not really sure what to say. You don't have to say anything. But you could give the scissors back. Are you coming? No, just you. Just follow the cave. I don't want to follow the cave. Welcome. <laughs> Sorry. If I didn't want it broken, I should have placed it elsewhere. 
Oh, I'm sorry. My friend Ron said I should come and talk to you because you'd have my answers to the questions I don't know. I don't know what to ask you. I'm sorry. Well, that's just silly. Only you can know why you're here. To save my friends. To help them. Leon's coming. And Ron doesn't want to fight back, and I don't know how to convince him. Ron's past is marred by pain. His future is his to decide. You can change his mind. You will have to sacrifice to achieve your ends. That's kind of ominous, right? I mean, sacrifice what? I cannot know, but you will. Can you tell me my fate or the fate of my friends? There's no such thing as fate, Twig. Only possibilities. And there's never a shortage of those. Well, thanks for your time. I'll be going. Is this for me? You remind me of someone I once knew. Remember this. Solutions don't just fall from the sky. Usually. Okay, well, thank you, Mr. Scholar. My name is Goris. Well, thanks, Goris. My name's Twig. I know. Of course you do. All right. Scar? Something wrong, Scar? I find Bonnie's work to be subpar. I'd like her to leave. Ma'am? Now. Well, shall I call Giselle? No. You can do it. I'll show you. You can just even it out. I'm not a hairdresser. Shall I call Leon and tell him that you didn't do everything in your power to ready me for the wedding? I'll teach you. Thank you, Daniel. So you remember my name? Oh, of course I remember that. I remember quite a bit. I remember you were my guard dog. Always did everything Leon had. And I remember you standing by and watching and doing nothing. Okay. Which one of you wants to come in here and take this collar off me, huh? Come on, boys. Now's not the time to be shy. What are you doing now? Take this collar off me and let me go. Are you afraid of the prophecy? Just the people insane enough to believe it. Oh, OK. So what? Um, you kill him to escape from me? I've never hurt you. <sighs> Shall I help you slit his throat? <laughs> if I let you walk out of here right now, you really think I wouldn't just sacrifice another town? Sacrifice everything and everybody to have you. Is that not love? Hmm. Daniel will break in camp. Now. Go. Yes, sir. You need to stay right here on top of it. You think? Damn it, Twig, get out of here! Ron, we're not just gonna leave you standing. Okay, it hasn't been here long. No! I'm I, 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 sand in your eyes. <laughs> Probably a scout. Must be guarding the site. No clear shot. Right, just here, give me the. Just, just, hit the third button. 
What? Just do it. Now what? On the count of three, we're going to stand up. It'll work. One, two, three. Well, next time we do this, just don't hold me like a human shield, all right? Fair enough. <laughs> it's pretty handy. Yeah. What else can it do? Uh, quite a lot, actually. Disarm a landmine? Sir. Check the soil. Yes, sir. It's all clean. Total anomaly. Unique only to that land. It's not an anomaly. Hmm? It's the prophecy. Now tell me more about the outpost. It's an old lock reed plant in the valley near the site. They call it the locker. Ammunition is manufacturing. Not functioning, but yes. We're keeping an eye on the site. We leave now. Contact my brother. Tell him I need a platoon of men at the location for protection, right? No, no. Scrap that. A battalion. I travel with Scarlet. Those are the requirements. Fine. We're moving out. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Off. Took you long enough? Nah, I was taking a leak. You know we still do that? Ugh. Oh, what, you gonna cry now? Shut up. Keep crying. <laughs> hey, you winged one. All right, kiddo, we're gonna play a little game. Rules are simple. I'm gonna ask you a question, and you're gonna answer it. If you answer it truthfully, I'll let you walk away. Where's the nearest place? With food and water. The locker. Half a day's walk that way. It's outstanding. Thank you very much. Gibbs! What the hell's the matter with you? You promised you'd let him live. Don't tell me you're getting soft, kid. His life doesn't mean anything to me. But your word should mean everything. Even to an ant like him. Is that disappointment that I see? I know you're better than this. All right, you know what? This stops right now. You want to keep pretending like you know me? You don't. I've forgotten more than you'll ever know. You want to know how I really got Clem into that vault? I killed that guard. The first person I ever killed, and I can't even remember if it was on purpose. I couldn't go in covered in blood. They'd hang us both. So I sent her in, in my place. You know the best part about that, Jimmy? I don't regret a goddamn thing. What are you looking at? Scar. Hello. Wow. Yeah. Come on, you've never been this non-threatening. What gives? Yeah. Scar, I got a secret for you. I can get us out of here. I'm not leaving. Come on, don't be crazy. We can work together. No. Uh. Why? What happened? A 
I've been a slave to Caesar's Legion. About a year when Leon bought me. I thought he loved me. I wasn't his slave. I was his. And I thought I loved him back. Maybe I really did. But then I learned about this prophecy. I felt betrayed. He didn't love me. He wanted to use me for this army. Create a son to rule the West. Create suffering for millions. I tried to run, but he caught me. Easy. And he made me a slave. He held me in wait until he could find the fertile ground of the prophecy. He kept calling me perfect one. The perfect mate makes the perfect son. So I thought, what if he didn't think I was perfect? He said he'd make sure I'd never try to leave him again. He'd eliminate any reason to run. So he destroyed my town, my home, family, friends first loves and he sealed his promise with a kiss a paladin rescued me took me away before anyone knew I was gone he helped me get myself together taught me how to survive but he was a broken man he'd fought Leon and Caesar's Legion for years and when Leon nuked my town entire company was destroyed with it. Ultimately, we didn't want revenge, only escape. So he left. And if not for him, the wastes would have killed me a long time ago. I kept moving, but they found me. When I was being transported from Boulder City, I ran into Ben and Twig and we escaped together. Stayed a step ahead ever since until someone helped them. But none of that was your fault. Besides, I'm rigged to pop. Sorry. See? I told you he was telling the truth. Call me surprised. Friends sold us out, kid. The only thing I hate worse than a ghoul is a ranger. I'm not a ranger. I'm not a ghoul. It's worth a shot. You gotta be shitting me. Ben? Oh, my God. <laughs> You're alive! I thought Leon had you guys. No such luck. You know these clowns? Yeah, they're my friends. Uh, friend, singular. You guys are alive. Any friend of Twigs. You guys want to come inside? It's great. Come on. What is happening? So they built this. Come on. Hey, Ron. Heard you needed to speak with me. Really saved my skin with that contraption on your wrist. <laughs> yeah, he'll do that. But if it's all the same, you let me rest up here and heal up. So. Well, you got me thinking. You figure there's any way to get this place running again? I think there is. Yeah. Fertile land is across the valley of the hours fast approaching hands. I need to prepare. Where are my legionnaires? Word was received. They have been delayed, but they're still coming. We'll do without them. Get the men ready. Take us all to the fertile land and prepare Scarlet for tonight's ceremony. Protect her and the land and their lives. Yes, sir. You men, if the locker so much as twitches before we get there, wipe it from the waist. Twig? 
Hmm? You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. You are a really big hero today, Twink. Just trying to help. Why so glum? I'm not. I know how to turn the machines back on. I just don't know if I can get Wait, Roz. you know how to make the machines work again? Yeah. You'll need this. Turns out some kind of universal processor powers most machines. You're a really amazing guy, Twig. There's something I want to show you. This is where you keep it? I would have told you sooner, but I wanted to finish my test. Mm. What about that? You actually drank so much Nuka-Cola in the vault, it altered your DNA. <laughs> well, it heals you. Not entirely, but it does speed up the process. That's insane. Scar. We have to go get her. The site is very defensible. You know what they say about a good defense. Couldn't have told me yesterday. You'll have to take it easy. I don't find that very likely. <laughs> me neither. Hold this. James. Yeah, in here. Twig says he knows that they're taking Scar. Wants to attack an entire platoon to get her back. He knows he's an idiot, right? Maybe. But he is the most selfless idiot I've ever met. There. All done. Now don't act like you didn't earn that. Where do you think I get it? Prick. somebody go out and find it when we first got back. I fixed it up the best I could. Thank you. Thank you. You can run quietly in this thing, right? No. You guys go on without me. As much as I want to save Scar, too, I'm not a warrior. I'll just mess it up. Besides, I gotta stay back here and help Ron and make sure this place is good. Fascinating. So what do you want to do? I'll take the old man. I'm saying that ghoul will go feral before he doesn't have much time. Get it working. I'm bringing hell with me when I come back. Sorry, but it's true. Okay, I killed a man to save my wife, but it's not like I wanted to. I was really tired of all this selfless Ben the Legend crap. You know, Vault 7 wasn't meant to survive. The experiment was to see how long they'd last without medical personnel. And Clem was the nurse. And Vault Tech knew. That's why they wouldn't let her in. She taught others, saved a lot of people. By protecting her, you saved generations. And then there is me. One big joke. 
Spent all this time looking out for number ones to finally... You gotta appreciate the irony in that, though. I am sorry, Ben. Eh, don't be, just... Thank you for... For my family. The last of it. Nothing else matters. Secure. someone else's life to ruin. What? My smooth skin! Look, I know I screwed you. I deserve it. The money was just too good. So stick around and collect. What are you talking to me for? They're gonna kill me. Good. I have to leave. But I can get you out, too. How? Because I can get these off without cueing the pyrotechnics. So why don't you just leave? Well, I can't do it. It's got to be one of you. And besides, her collar has me on a really tight leash. I'm not leaving. Uh. No one else dies because of me. about you, hot stuff. I want to go home, but I'm not leaving without her. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Me first. We've all got bone collars on. Hey, who's with her? Some chick and that asshole from Eastwood. Larry. Shoot him in the leg. Can't. Scarlet's right behind him. Can you feel that tiny little bar? Yeah. It's about a quarter inch thick, has a blue stripe, really, really tiny. Yeah. Don't touch it. The thing next to it pulls straight down. Straight down. Ah, that's the spot. Uh, uh. Thanks. Well, make a run for it. Damn it. All right, come here, real quick. Turn around. Come on. Her first. Suit yourself. Come here. Can't. Looks like Scar's trying to take his collar off. <laughs> what? Remember this being a lot easier. Yeah. Bingo! I'll be damned. He's breaking him out. I'm going in. Watch my ass. I should put you down the first time. Hey, Benji! The new Reno Ringer!
those kids don't last long. Larry? I know, I get it. Bad guy. She's really hurt, though. Come on. Uh, yeah, Pen, let's... Uh, and so am I. You got it? He's here. I believe you have something that belongs to me! Your infirmary. Get everyone in there. It's the only place with enough cover. <laughs> so that's all he meant to you? It's not just about him anymore. He died protecting his family. And mine died because of me. You are all. I can't. Send out my Scarlet, and I will let you people live. I'm sorry, but I can't ask you to fight for me. You never had to. Well, easy, kid. Stuff's harder than liquor. We used to make grenades with it. You have two minutes! Two! Then I am coming in after! And you won't like my gift for the host. God, am I the only one who's just getting fucking sick of that guy? Hell no.
I'm sorry we haven't seen the ranger. He's probably still in the mess. Twig said his name was James, Ben's descendant. The last Eldridge. He was a good man. You okay? No. But at least it's all finally over, huh? Looks like you have a good day for it, Twig. How you feeling? Oh, like a 
million caps. Mm -hmm. A thousand? <laughs> so you gonna be okay without your toy? Yeah. I think I will be. You take care of yourself out there. Thanks, Ron. You sure about this? Yeah. Yeah, I can't stay cooped up here anymore. Besides, it's kind of... Yeah. You stay safe out there. Oh. Listen to Scar. I'll be waiting for you when you get back. Oh, yeah. Oh, do it again. Too much? Yeah. You think we'll find it? My home? We are sure as hell gonna try. See, you got me figured out. You think I'm just your average Joe. You sized me up with just one look. You snubbed your nose and told me no. Don't be fooled by what you see. That's just your point of view. Cause, baby, I can live large, too. I keep a pen behind my ear. I know it may look uptight, but I replace that pen with a cigarette. When I go out at night, I wouldn't loosen up my tie while I spend time with you. Cause baby, I can live large too. If all the world's a stage, then I'm your leading man. And baby, when you're with me, I don't know turns into yes I can. I'd bring you flowers every day to ensure that they don't wilt. If you give me your okay, I'll give my old hat a tilt. We could live the good life, living large is what we'll do. And baby, you can live large too. Cause baby, I wanna be living 